Uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss, Miss Havila. Ma'am. Uh, ma'am, excuse me. Ma'am, hey, Havila. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. All right. Uh, ma'am. Miss Havila. I see you moving around. I know you hear me. It's time to wake up and go to school. Miss Havila, I, you just looked right at me. I don't feel comfortable being in your room in the first place, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't know where you go to school, but I have never heard of a professor anywhere who's willing to come stand at the foot of your bed and teach you a single thing. Now get up, get motivated and go to school. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna thank you so much for reaching out to me. That hopefully is something <laughs> similar to what you were looking for. I, I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, wild, I love the idea. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I would want to hear that every day when I wake up or not. I really doubt that I would. I doubt it a lot. I will tell you a funny story though, real quick. So, um, when my wife and I first moved back to Indiana from California, we had no money, nothing. And to save money, I got rid of my iPhone and just went to a tiny, it wasn't a flip phone. It wasn't even as expensive as a flip phone. It was the smallest, like you had to push the buttons several times to get a text message out. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if you ever had a phone like that or not, but it was horrible. It was horrible. And uh, I had it for like six months and then we still didn't have a whole lot of money at that point, but I thought I can't, I just don't even need a phone at all if this is what I'm gonna have. But the funny thing about it was the alarm on it. How did it go? I said it and it would make my wife so mad every morning because it, okay, so it, went, it sounded a little bit like this. Ba, 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 good morning. And it was this crazy, <laughs> ridiculous, it's a beautiful day. It was the most horrible alarm clock you can imagine. And every morning I would get like punched in the face it, by my wife to turn it off and it would make her so mad and it would make me laugh so hard and and we don't have it anymore obviously but I don't know which is worse what I just gave you or that honestly I don't know which is worse <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it and I, okay so beyond all that thank you so much for sending me a video most people don't do that and I really appreciate it because now I know who I'm talking to for one thing but I think it's so awesome too, that you let me know that you did so well on your exam. That's awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. And I know that you know this, but it's, it's nice to have a reminder sometimes. The work that you do now is what's gonna give you the opportunity to have choices in the future. You know that, so just keep doing it. Keep doing your best and enjoy it. You know, school sucks sometimes when you're forced to learn things that you don't care about. Hopefully you're far enough into college where you're really just working on what you're interested in working on and learning what you really want to know for your career, or whatever, whatever the case may be. But um, if you find a way to get yourself really interested in the information that you're given that you have to regurgitate whatever you have to test well on, um, you're going to thank yourself. I promise you, you're going to thank yourself in the future. So do whatever you got to do to make that happen. And then, uh, you know, not long from now, really, you're going to say, I'm so happy that I did that. It's it, times was really kind of a bummer that I had to learn the things I had to learn, but whatever I did it and I got good grades and now I have choices. You're going to want to have choices is what I'm saying. So Keep up the good work and
thank you so much for reaching out to me. Again, I really hope that was something like what you were looking for. <laughs> all right, enough of me. Take care of yourself. Be well, all right?